Hey everybody, this is Rock Paper Mario, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we finally made it out of Rock Tunnel and got to Lavender Town, probably my favourite town in the game because of the music, it's just amazing. And let me show you what the music sounds like sped up just for the laugh. <laughs> just what's up with that? Um, that's enough of that. Um, so in this part, we're going to go into Pokemon Tower. Now, there's only so much you can do here at the moment. I came to pray for my Clefairy. <laughs> I can't stop crying. Why is everybody crying? Did you come to pay respect? Bless you. God bless you. God bless you, man. Sorry. <laughs> I growled it. Why did you die? Because you forgot to feed it. I am a channeler. <laughs> Stay away from the channeler. <laughs> there are spirits up to mischief, up to no good. What like of? There's skullduggery of all. Oh, look. It's that jerk. <laughs> I really don't like him, but let's fight him anyway, because we're probably going to win. Hey, Ash. What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. <laughs> well, yours are going to be in a minute. I can I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. Well, Gary, I can tell you this much. There are going to be two hits and three hits in this fight. Me hitting you, you hitting the floor, and the ambulance hitting 90 coming to bring you to the hospital. <laughs> Sorry. That was so, like, Alfiro. Oh no, what, what am I doing? Well, Butterfree, maybe you can do something useful. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe you can't. Let's just try this again. What? Oh no, that... No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? Yes, Fero, you're fully paralyzed. <laughs> Wait... Okay, I'm switching out to Pikachu because I just... <laughs> oh no. Because this, this is just going to take too long otherwise. And Pikachu can probably one-shot it with Thunderbolt. Come on, Thunderbolt. What? How could that miss? Leer. Thanks a lot, Fero. Big stupid turkey. He looks like a turkey. Actually, I think I had a Fero one time called Dustin, after Dustin the Turkey, who used to be on the den, which was like the kids' show here or in Ireland on national television or whatever. Oh, Butterfree grew up level, as if that's useful, because we'll definitely be using Butterfree in future. You Shelter, aw, oh, Shelter, I love you. I hate not, I hate to have to kill you, Shelter. But, um, yeah, so, but does, I, think, I don't know if Dustin was supposed to be a turkey. I think he was supposed to be a turkey vulture or something. I can't even remember. Speaking of turkey, um, did, it, did anyone ever play this game called Vib Ribbon? This game called Vib Ribbon, which was out on the PlayStation. I remember we used to get this magazine when we had the PS1. And, um, in that magazine you get to get, used to get, like, demo discs or whatever. <laughs> And one of the demo discs had this game called Vib Ribbon, where basically you played a rab you were a rabbit, moving on uh, on like a line, and as music played, these shapes used to come up on the line, and you had to jump over them or whatever. Um, but like one of the songs, I can still remember what the song was. The song used to go like it was in Japanese, like all the songs from Japanese, but we had like improvised like English lyrics based on what they sounded like, and one of them was like um, ooh wee ooh. ooh. A gooey pickle. It was like a gooey pickle, and at the end, there's this part that used to say, like, "Well, I'm getting onto the part that's related to turkey now." There's this part that used to go, "So keep your turkey on the windowsill." So keep your turkey on the windowsill, and it was just like, "Oh my god, that game!" It, had, it definitely had a negative effect on my psyche, obviously. But I remember that all the time, and it was actually a pretty addictive game. Do you know how all those rhythmic, challenging games are pretty addictive? Well, Mankey, come on, you're supposed to be doing the sis boom ba. The sis boom ba, you the sis boom ba. There you go. <laughs> Mankey up 300. Gary is about to use. Let's see what Pikachu does. Come on, starter versus starter. This is just like. It's like a reliving of our battle, but instead of being like level 5, you're level 25, and I know Thunderbolt, which puts me at a definite advantage. Oh, look, when you use Thunderbolt, Eevee's eyes like flash white for a second. That's really creepy. Oh, growl. But definitely, you're, yeah, because that's definitely a winning strategy there, as if like Thunderbolt were a physical attack. You dumbass. God's sake. Gary, like, for someone who's the grandson of Professor Oak, you sure do know jack shit about Pokemon at the end of the day, don't you? Critical hit. 
and Pikachu grew to level 27. You see, as soon as Pikachu learns Thunderbolt, there's no problem. Like, remember all the trouble, all the rants, all the all the pep talks, all the just like bashing that I had to give Pikachu for being shit, and now he's able to just massacre everything. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I'm not pal, you're just asshole. I just caught a Cubone. Well, how come you didn't use it? Because you might have actually been able to kill my Pikachu. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Oh yeah, you just piss off, Gary. Nobody likes you. Hey, Booster, nobody likes you. Well, no, it's not It's not Aaron Schwarzenegger that says that line. Okay, this is as far as you can go. This is as far as you go. This is as far as you can go in Pokemon Tower because, um... There are ghosts there that you can't see, so you have to, like, just, like, you can't come back there until later. So, that's all you can do at the moment. If you go down, you have two options now. Well, only one. But if you go, because if you go south, you'll find there's, a, like, a blockage that you can't go down there. Because the police have come and they've set up a roadblock. So, your only choice is to come this way. So, we're just going to skip you. Well, we're not going to skip you, but we're going to skip one of you. He's a gambling, rambling dude. Who's dressed like William Shakespeare, apparently. <laughs> oh no, the gamblers in this game, they always remind me of Patrick Stewart. Joe, Patrick Stewart, who plays Jean-Luc Picard in... Um, why am I using Butterfree? Yeah, Crowlet, if you'd kill Butterfree, it'd actually be like an ease to me, because then I wouldn't be able to use it anymore. But, um... The gamblers, their sprites look like when... Look like... Patrick Stewart. I don't know. Maybe all bald people. I just instinctively think they look like Patrick Stewart. Oh come on, Pikachu! Come on and clean up after this guy. I, I'm in, I'm specific. I'm purposely not using Charmeleon for this part of the game just because of something coming up in the next game, whereby the only Pokemon we'll be using is Charmeleon, basically. So um, in the next town. Sorry. Um, so I want, and Pikachu isn't going to be much use in the gym in the next town, so I just, I don't want to be using, I want to give Pikachu some levels while I can. Oh, Quick Attack. Since when do Vulpix learn Quick Attack? I don't know, it's just the kind of move that I wouldn't imagine a Vulpix knowing, even though I do know that it can learn it, I just, I could never imagine a Vulpix using Quick Attack, it's not quick enough, it's too much of a, I don't know, the booty's too big, looks like they're Patrick Stewart. Well, seeing as we know cut, we're going to take the shortcut. <laughs> Literally. Seeing as we have our cut slave, cut a or whatever. So you can go up there and there are about three or four trainers. Or else you can go through here. And in that grass you can find, if you're playing gold, or not gold, red you can find Growlithe. And if you're playing blue you can find Vulpix. I personally prefer Vulpix. Because Ninetales rocks, so. <laughs> screw that, screw Growlithe. Well, here we go. We're going. We're still trying to avoid as many trainers as possible. Aren't there bikers or something down here? Oh no, that's in gold and silver, I think. Well, you can't go through there because there are like thirsty guards or whatever. But like, yeah, look, you can just skip all of these trainers. Don't worry, I'll come back and fight them again. It's just that I hate having to speed up too much. Like especially in the last few videos, there was so much speeding up, and I just didn't like having to do that. So. I don't know, let me know, like, if you want me to leave in all the battles. It's just that I don't like having to speed up too much because sometimes you can't hear what I'm saying properly. Not that you'd be that interested in it anyway. Well, here we are. We're in coming into the next town already. <laughs> We've only spent... And it is... Celadon City. And look. Oh, he looks like a rocket. Keep out of Team Rocket's way. You can just kiss my ass. Who are you? This is my trusted pal, Polyrat. It evolved from Polyworld when I used Water Stone. Oh, I love Polyrath. There's a guy down there that gives us a useless TM that we can't even use, and I actually don't know what to do now to use up the time in this video. Maybe I should have, um... Well, I know what I can do. I can show you this thing. This is the marsh, and the marsh in Celadon City is enormous. There are basically loads of floors. There's a floor where you can buy, like, Pokeballs and stuff, a floor where you can buy potions and things. Well, actually, I love- this guy has one of my favourite lines of dialogue in the game. Oh, hi, I finally finished Pokemon. Not done yet? This might be useful. Ash received TM18, and TM18 is counter, and look what he says. He says, TM18 is counter. Not like the one I'm leaning on, mind you. 
It's like, who are you? An NPC from Earthbound? That's the kind of kooky line that an NPC from Earthbound would have. And we keep coming up on the floors, there are floors that sell proteins and things, and you finally get up here. And there's this guy up here who says, My sister is a trainer, believe it or not, but she's so immature, she drives me nuts. But that sounds like a lot of little sisters, I know. I'm twisty, I want something to drink. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, she wants something to drink. Maybe I should have gotten like someone else to do the voice. A vending machine, here's the menu. Well, we want to buy fresh water. Fresh water popped out. I love the way they like mimic the sound of the vending machine. Soda pop. Soda pop. And soda pop popped out. Soda pop popped out. And lemonade. Lemonade, not my forte. A vending machine. Here's no. I don't want anything else. Even though actually lemonade is really good value because it heals 80 of your HP, but it's own. It's I, it's really cheap. I want something to drink. Give her a drink. Yes. Give her fresh water. Yay, fresh water. Thank you. You can have this for me. Actually, TM13 Ice Beam, which is going to be very useful. It can freeze the target sometimes. I'm Toasty. I want somebody to drink. Give her a drink. Yes. Soda Pop. Yay, Soda Pop. The Soda Pop makes me tea hurt. Oh, your tea hurt. Your tea hurt. Well, I'll tell you where you can put your Soda. <laughs> Put your, I'm not telling you where you can put your freaking sodi too. Ah, my freaking ears! <laughs> she wants something to twink. Give her a twink. Lemonade, yay. Lemonade, thank you. You can have this for me. Team 49. Oh, I don't even know. I think one of them is try attack. One of them is try attack. You can see what the other one. I have a vague idea that the other one she gives you is rock slide. I don't know. Look at those guys there, like Tweedledee and Tweedledum just sitting there. Well, here's the elevator. We're going to take the elevator just because I'm lazy. I think we're up to like about 12 minutes now. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll probably end off this video soon. Well, no. I'm going to like start the next part of the game. Because... Um, you have two choices. Now, either you can go and take on Jim straight away. Or else you can do the next part of the plot. Personally, I'm going to do the next part of the plot. Um, just, <laughs> you'll, I'll explain why the next time. Basically you come in here and this is the casino, the game corner. It's some of the most fun music in the game and you'll see there's a rocket up here and what you want to do is actually put Pikachu out in front this time instead of fighting with Charmeleon. And you want to say, I'm carrying this poster, go away or else. Well, that's fine, how do you do, isn't it? Look at him with his whip, who do you think you are, Simon Belmont? <laughs> Simon Belmont with his whip. It's like Raticate. Raticate! Go Pikachu. Yeah, Thunderbolt this guy's at. Looks like, like I haven't even gone to the Pokemon Center with Pikachu since Lavender Town and he just hasn't been having any problems. Just like I said, if he knows Thunderbolt then he's untouchable basically. Because Pikachu's actually quite nippy when you think about it. 496. Zubat. <laughs> you think a Zubat is going to be able to stand up to me? <laughs> the garbage shoot. <laughs> Critical hit. It's super effective. Critical hit. What? Do you think you did enough damage? Do you think you've got enough money in that box? You dare yours, Dominic, for all those building supplies? <laughs> Dang! Ash got 600 for winning. What? Enough money? Our hideout might be discovered. I'd better tell boss. I believe you got some which belongs to my boss. Well, you're not really hurrying, are you? Well, what's this? Hey! A switch behind the poster. A secret switch! Let's push it. Push it real good. And that opens up the stairs, which goes down to their secret lair. Now, this is the rocket's hideout in the game corner. And this is the next dungeon of the game, but we don't have time to do it. So, I'm going to see you next time. And let's play Pokemon Yellow whenever that is. Thanks for watching. This is me, Rock Paper Mario.